Good morning, Grey Bruce students. Hello once again from my attic as we stick close to home to keep ourselves and our loved ones safe. Today, I thought we could talk about sleep. So raise your hand if you got enough sleep over the break. Mm -hmm. Or if you're like, sleep? What is this magical sleep thing she's referring to, right? But actually, sleep is magical. It's magical in its ability to positively affect our overall health and well being. I don't know about you, but when am I more likely to trip over my own two feet and hurt myself? When I'm tired. When am I more likely to forget where I put something? When I'm tired. And when am I most likely to be impatient, grumpy, and massively opinionated? <laughs> when I'm tired. Coincidence? It's not actually. There are a few things that happen when we sleep. For one, that guard dog in your brain, also known as your amygdala, finally gets to go off shift. It can finally check out and go on an extended lunch break. Nothing more to see here. So I'm just gonna be over here dreaming of white sands and road trips and all things non-COVID related for about eight hours. Call me in the morning, right? And as your amygdala checks out, your hippocampus checks in. It gets busy mixing up the shuffle. It pushes out things we don't need anymore. What was the price of gas today? <laughs> Doesn't matter anymore. Out you go. And after a few hours of moving stuff around and sprinkling a few things into your dreams, our brain is fired up and ready and able to learn and remember and start fresh tomorrow. Ever notice when you had trouble learning something new that day? It could be because our hippocampus didn't get all the time it needed to get you ready for more learning. But what if sleep is elusive? Which it can be. There are lots of things that we can do to help. Here's just a few of my go-tos. Our brain is the king of muscle memory. It loves routine. Regular bedtime routines are so important for our sleep. Anytime our sleep gets disturbed, it's probably because our pattern got disturbed. Another thing that helps your brain get into sleep mode is comfort. Nothing says nighty night like fresh wash sheets and comfy PJs, or even better, warm PJs right out of the dryer. Oh yeah. But the easiest thing we can do to help our body feel sleepy is when we are tired. When we've had a full day of activity, we've gotten our hearts pumping from some really strenuous activity, then the body feels tired. It will give you just enough energy to get to your bed and you're out for the count. So can I tell you a secret? I'm actually taping this video on Tuesday night, right at the end of my day. So I'm actually headed to bed soon. One of the best pieces of advice I ever heard about sleep was Dr. Neil Bernard. He said, do you ever get jealous of your cat and all their sleeping? Well, watch what they do before they go to sleep. They actually stretch and yawn. Oh. And he says, that's not a mistake. It actually prepares them for sleep. So the next time you're lying in bed, wishing you could sleep, take three big stretches and three big yawns. And trust me, you'll be counting Z's in no time. Well, good night, everybody. See you tomorrow.